Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the issue that a lot of people, it's very obvious, but I feel like I should state it with an example. If you are going to make Magic the Gathering content, feel free to do so, but understand that if you want to share your content, if you want to grow bigger, even if you don't want to grow bigger and you just grow bigger, you will be harassed. You will be the subject of articles like this. And no one is safe from internet harassment. Not me, not a female magic player, not a creeper, not Jeremy, not Tolarian, Brian, and not Wedge. So recently there has been a lot of discussion on mental health. A lot of writers and content creators have openly stated that they have mental health issues themselves, and that is something we should all keep in mind. I remember an article from Hipsters of the Coast, and it was suggesting that MTG headquarters had used, was using targeted harassment against the writer of the article, which, who was female. The article was published, and it was pretty much a hit piece. And you know it's a hit piece when they say AKA this, AKA that. So there's certain words that a hit piece has. Well, this is my personal hit piece, and then another hit piece that followed. Did I make a video about it at the time? No. Why am I making a video about it today? Do not bully these people. Do not. When an article starts off with, I'm unemployed, but I'm going to write this article. I'm going to spend all this time writing this giant article about why MTG Lion sucks. You can kind of take it with a grain of salt. I really would rather suggest that this person take the time to apply for a few jobs. The job economy has been the best it has been. It's very e it's not easy to find a job, especially in a major that maybe you went to college for, but it's very good. I'm always hiring. I know my friends who own businesses, they're always hiring right now. Employees have leverage. So the article starts off with, I'm unemployed and I'm going to write this article instead of applying for jobs. And the article goes on and on about how much I suck and what I don't understand and I'm uneducated. And let's just read some of this. Lyon points out that there doesn't seem to be any good land cycles on the sheet and really starts sounding like a siren about how newer sets really only have lands that make them worthwhile. This is not my speculation. This is true based on fact. If you look at Iconic Masters, they didn't really have a land set. Modern Masters 2017 had the enemy fetch lands. Khans or Tarkirs had the ally fetch lands. RTR had the shock lands. Gatecrash had the shock lands. And Modern Masters, or Masters 25, has, you guessed it, the filter lands. So yeah, it does help with the value tremendously when your five rare land slots are worth more than $10. Okay. People like Lion are usually the first to start complaining, and that is true. And Standard is horrible. It honestly is. Is downright their rallying cry at this point. Uh, even complaining about the complainers is almost as tiring now. So... They complain that I'm a whiner, therefore turning themselves into an even bigger whiner. And this is the irony. The irony is very rich on this type of argument because the people who use targeted harassment the most tend to be victims of targeted harassment. The people who complain about whiners the most tend to write articles about whiners, as is life, right? So I agree, uh, this should be, this is an opinion and you should write the opinion and you have every right to do so. Now I was a moderator, I was one of the original uh, free four moderators on it and yes, I was 
initially paid to promote this app. They asked me to promote it a second time. I said I would do it, and I didn't ask for money. They asked to pay me. I said, no, I'm good. Uh, that second video never went out because on two days before it was set, I make my videos probably a week in advance. A lot of my videos a week in advance. They just go ahead and publish this right on the front page. So it's kind of like pinning to Reddit. So they stickied it so everyone could see it. I don't mind criticism and I have my fair share of criticism and I don't mind um, some of it is true. I agree with some of it. MTG financial people know what they are talking about. Uh, consider this, they're urging you to invest in cardboard. There, I just solved magic finance. I think this is acceptable and I would actually feel confident saying that this is their freedom. I didn't believe the article should be taken down. I didn't talk to any moderators. And even the moderator says, hey, you should have talked to us. I posted my opinion that I felt a moderator shouldn't pin and sticky this for so long on the front page of their entire app, given the fact it is a pretty blatant ad hominem attack on me. And yeah, I didn't ask to be a big YouTube channel and I don't think I have a responsibility to, I behave without a script, I behave without, it's very clear that I just say whatever I feel like saying because sometimes you go off on way over tangents, right? And that's a big criticism, but that's also how my channel is. I don't BS you and I will openly admit that a lot of this stuff is what interests me at the time. That's why we still have Fire Emblem videos. I'm not an idiot. I know Fire Emblem videos do very poorly and many of you unsubscribe but I don't care because that's what I want to do at the time. Now, criticism, I would be a hypocrite if I didn't want this article to exist. It does exist. You can find it online, you can read it. I'm not saying do not subscribe to Amino. I was one of the first moderators. I was one of the first moderators and it was difficult to do as anything is difficult to do in the beginning because there's no construct of rules. There's no construct of regulations. All right, let's read some of this. Uh, MTG line has left the amino for I think the third time. That's not really correct. Um, this time is was due to a post that was highly critical and a little mean spirited towards him. First off, let's get this straight. This will not be a full slappy and begging for forgiveness apology. I don't expect that, um, especially given the first sentence. You can tell the tone of the article from just the first sentence. I was the one who featured the post. It wasn't any other curator. It was me. So come at me, bro. Does this sound like someone who wants me to use the Amino app? No. This some sounds like someone who wants me to leave the Amino app. And I have, I haven't used it since this drama happened. I just want to present the fact that you can be criticized, you can be attacked, and that's your right to do so. They have every right to criticize me. They have every right to make these claims. Some of them are true, some of them are not. It's fascinating. There were free YouTubers that were at the forefront and got a sponsor to promote the Amino. Cyber Lore, Rogue Deck Builder, and MTG Line. I joined a week after the app launched. It launched. The YouTubers did their videos and some did post content. So clearly this person did not really get what went into the moderators, and I still have this saved, if I log into Amino, assuming they didn't delete anything, there's messages. The regulations and the rules were set by the original moderators. And one of the original moderators, I believe, worked for Amino. 
and there were certain guidelines um, about pretty much harassment, specific targeted harassment that you were not supposed to do as a moderator. And if you actually caught it, your duty wasn't to promote attacks against a, another person on the forum, which I was. Your duty would be to flag it. And those were the rules and guidelines that were in place when I left being a moderator and just joined being a regular member. Clearly, you know, that's, I'm sure Reddit, no matter how bad Reddit gets, I'm sure they have something in place as well. I know MTG Salvation, which I was a moderator. My username was Kinrin. It's a long time ago. I had a lot of fun and I learned a lot from them about how to build a community. And I would even go as far to say that I applied that knowledge from being MTG Salvation moderator, which is a, at the time, it was like 2015 or 2012, 13. it was huge at the time because Reddit hadn't yet really grown like it has today. Everyone was using Salvation as the Reddit. So hashtags. Um, you can tell when someone really hates you when they need to exaggerate. A few people made mock posts using a million hashtags. You don't need to say a million hashtags. Clearly someone reading this is going to know it's not a million hashtags. That is a exaggeration. And in case law, uh, for legal arguments, whenever people start making exaggerations, you know they have a relatively weak argument. Um, and the reason that their argument is so weak is they're relying on huge numbers, huge statements, uh, kind of maybe similar to a certain president. Anyway, the most infamous critic on the app is constantly blank about whenever he says something even remotely negative. And usually a random comment or hit post will get flagged. Do you know what happened with the line post? Nothing, no flags. I got no one blanking to me or the other curators that the maker went too far or it shouldn't be featured. Only after a member showed it to Lion on his Facebook page, did I hear I shouldn't have been up there. It shouldn't have been up there. Lion would have never seen it since he's barely on in the first place. So yes, Lion, I do apologize for it being up there, but I'm not sorry for trying to see if people would defend you. So clearly we had very different philosophies when I was a moderator on Salvation as well as this uh, app. But I'm going to take it. This is fair game. I am fair game. I'm not untouchable. And I will take the criticism. If I heap criticism out, then I should accept it in return. It is... It is fascinating. This is how, so imagine a community that instead of posting about positive stuff or featuring positive posts, I'm sure that there were so many different posts going on at the time and some of them very positive. Some of them probably people who took a lot of time and effort to write a post and they decide, Hey, let's post MTG lineup because we know we're going to get a lot of comments. We're going to get a lot of feedbacks. We'll get a million hashtags. <laughs> you have to understand being a moderator means that you have to be even. You cannot be even by starting your sentences and pretty much being aggressive and mean-spirited. But I have to take it. You have every right to do this. And in fact, I would encourage you to do it more because if you criticize me and you think I am flawed, then maybe I have learned some stuff. And I have learned that you know, for different posts and different interactions, I have to be the one to do it. 
I can't just hire out a social media specialist. I didn't learn from this, but I learned from another case on this channel actually is I can't just pay someone to make videos and hope you guys accept the channel. A lot of you are subscribed because you like to hear my perspectives and my viewpoints. Uh, therefore, I cannot outsource it, which is what I originally wanted to do. So criticism, while sometimes mean-spirited, is the foundation of growth and learning. And from this, as well as from you guys, I have learned and committed to this channel uh, more so than I would have if you didn't criticize me. So, um, with all this being said and all this being blah, 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 I'm happy that people, I'm not happy that they're roasting me, but I am happy that they have and are willing to share honest opinions about me, even if they are negative. If you want positive opinions on the internet, you have to subject yourself to negative opinions. That's just life. Anyway, that's it. Bye, guys.